So oysters can be delicious. We want to show you how to do it. All right. So these are some fresh Virginia oysters. I'm going to show you how to use the, knife, the oyster knife. Uh, just so you can see here, this oyster knife is a little different than a clam knife. A clam knife is going to have a more straight, sharp edge um, for the reason to get it in a clam. This one has a more rounded, dull edge, um, and that's to uh, get some leverage here and uh, power into the oyster. So the oyster shell, you want to kind of go towards the tip of the oyster, and you can see there's a little bit of a, uh, a hole right there or a crack that you can kind of wedge your knife into. So what I like to do is use a towel here just for a little extra security. Don't push back towards your hand. Obviously that leads to uh, safety issues. You don't want to stab your hand. You will kind of almost want to push a little bit down and a little bit in and then you twist, twist the knife, right? So once you get the oyster kind of popping open like that, then you can kind of just give it a little scrape down the inside of the knife or with the knife and that's going to loosen up that abductor muscle in there. And then you go underneath of it as well to get that loosened right there. All right, let me try. Now, Jackie's gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how easy this is because I've never shucked an oyster in my life. Use your towel for safety. Okay, ready? Tell me if I'm doing something wrong. You can put it down. Okay, down, and leverage. then you stuff it in there, and then you turn it, Twist and, get and it then pops. you, oh my gosh, it's so easy. Yep, and then just slide the knife down and cut the abductor muscle down towards the end. The abductor muscle. That's right. We have those, right? Yep. <laughs> okay, this is a little bit of a mess, but that was easy. It works. Is that how you do it? It's beautiful. That was so easy. And then like lemon and horseradish and what else? Yeah, a lot of people, I, I, I like uh, a little bit of lemon and horseradish. Uh, some people eat it with cocktail sauce. Um, you can also look up recipes for um, kind of like a, a mignette, which is like a vinaigrette sauce um, that goes with it, uh, which is fantastic. Um, and then uh, you can also eat them cooked. Um, so you could put something on top of it, maybe a little breadcrumb or something like that. Okay, Pop good. it in the Cheers. oven broiler. Ready? Mm. Good luck.